Hey, hello, and welcome back, everybody, for another LEGO City update. This is our fourth LEGO City update, and we've got a lot of stuff to show you. So let's take a look. So we're starting off in our town square, and I should probably show you newcomer to our city. This is Little Bricks. By request of him to add him to our city so we've got you in the limo dude and welcome to our city All right, um, this is a panned out view of our Lego city and if you look off in the background you will see that we've got a train track edition okay. As previously stated in our updates, we said that that's going to be a mountain back there. So the lower train track is going to be inside of a tunnel that'll go inside the, the mountain. And then that upper loop will be um, kind of looping around the perimeter of the mountain. And we'll talk about that in more in a little bit. We have got our road laid out last Last update, all we had was this piece in the, the back portion of the city. And then we've added this for our, our uh, road going to all of our city buildings. And then this is the connecting road going to the overpass. And then coming to the front and our entrance. I'm super impressed. I'm really happy with the way this entrance turned out. It's, uh, I had an elevation change that I had to deal with, um, but I'm happy with how clean that turned out. And then we found a use for all of those round tiles. And we purchased all those round tiles for two things really. One was for our town square, which we used quite a bit of them, um, but we're going to use a lot of them for detail pieces in our train tracks. So if I zoom out, you'll see that, uh, that they add a lot of really neat detail to it. Um, we had to order quite a few, a lot of plates to uh, to go underneath and support that train track and that'll that'll lift it up it'll give it some definition uh, and it'll look like a like a gravel pile or an elevated train track whenever we're done with it and then those uh, those round tiles the um, round plates light gray and dark gray will add a bunch of detail so we were in uh, lots of debate as to how we should decorate this, uh, this, this median here on our town entrance. So we've got three different tree styles. Not really, haven't really decided uh -oh, what do we have here. Looks like we've got our fireman, our local fireman helping out a cat that's caught in a tree. Um, and looks like the, uh, the police are there stopping traffic. But those of you that have got a preference in trees and um, would like to give us your input, we would, uh, we would gladly accept that. Tell us what you think. Uh, I, I didn't know if I wanted some type of pillar or some type of ornamental, decorative type post. Um, played around with a couple different things and we couldn't really come up with anything that we truly, truly like. So if you have any input, please let us know. I think I talked about this tri-axle or triple axle um, RV in one of my other posts, but I never really opened it up. So there is a shot. The original one out of the box opened up like this, but it only had two axles, one rear axle and a front axle. So we 
we stretched it out and made it a uh, little bit larger camper. It's pretty cool looking. And then it still has all the accessible, most of you that have got the, the camper and have built it are familiar with, with those. Those parts of those are all still working. There's the train station. Um, and, and I apologize for not remembering who made the recommendation for putting that center rib back in, but uh, bouncing back and forth, I think I'm gonna take your advice and thank you for it. Hopefully I'll get that done um, if my wife left me by the next episode, uh, the next LEGO City update. I'm gonna put that other that are rib support in there and I think it'll, it'll uh, tighten up that roof a little bit and make it a little bit cleaner. A little lawnmower that I built playing around one night. Um, not really sure what to think about it, but uh, I haven't seen any other lawnmowers out there. So we spun all of our city buildings around. There's our fire station where the road will, will dead end. As you can see, our roads have not been terminated yet. They've not been ended. Uh, we're, we're waiting on... <laughs> Several different orders, BrickLink orders, uh, one by one by tiles and one by two. Or I'm sorry, tiles, plates, bricks of all different sizes and colors to finish those up. So we spun these buildings around to make them accessible from the front road. And then um, that road will tie in like this one does. And as you can see, they've, they've not been uh, not been locked down yet, but. Uh, but I think, think that that road layout gives us um, enough space to do some cool stuff and, and have a, a nice layout. And then our upper train track. Now those supports are just temporary. This will be a mountain. I've seen lots of really cool mountain designs out there and hopefully we can get ours looking as good as some of the ones that have got yours out there. Um, I wasn't real sure as to how well our train was going to be able to go up this incline. Um, and with a fresh set of batteries, it will climb up it. Uh, but it's got to be turned all the way up to get up it. And then you've got to have good train, a good train operator to make sure that you don't come down the backside, you gotta you gotta turn on the brakes and slow it down a little bit, or else you come off the other end down here at the at the bottom. Um, or if we take out the center section, um, it'll make it up there on the third setting, and uh, it'll come back down on its own. It should be when I see if I can get a shot of it climbing. And we're off. So like I said, she'll make it up on her own with, uh, without the middle piece. Slows down in the turns and then it climbs on up nice and slow as a real train would. And then nice and easy. And back around and down she comes. So she stopped in our tunnel right now, our soon-to-be tunnel, and um, I think that pretty much wraps up our update. Okay, so please tell me what you think. Let us know that you approve of our work. Um, we're real happy with, with the progress thus far, and uh, we will see you after we get the rest of our dark gray 2x2 two two tiles and all of our light gray 2x2 two two tiles. So lots of work to do before the next update and we will see you next time. Thanks again and bye.